Hey guys, this is Chris the Apple One, and I am here with a What's in My Dock video. So I'm going to go ahead and get into what I used to do, where I would pick three apps and pretty much do small reviews of them. And if I, I might do a full review on one if it's very, very important. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first app I'm going to show you is called Notational Velocity. So this, it kind of looks very similar to the Notes app if you put them side by side and this is this is what it looks like so uh, on the notes app you would actually click this to add a new note and you would name it by typing in the first it's pretty much the first thing on the page it will name it so you can't really get started on your notes it would just name it kind of weird so yeah, so on notational velocity, you actually use this search bar here, kind of seems like a search bar, and you would type in the name of your new note. So what it's going to do as you're typing something in, it's going to actually search for notes that you have. So let's say I'm just going to, I'm going to name this uh, YouTube checklist. You can also use this as a checklist. Uh, and all you have to do is hit enter and boom, you have a brand new note. Uh, now if you take this out of here, you have all your other notes back. Uh, so let's go to our note and edit it. Uh, so let's say create, eh, eh, can't spell, create uh, what's in my doc video. And since we're recording it, I'm going to go ahead and up here, if you go, where is it, <laughs> format. Uh, you can you have the option to bold, italic, or strike through. So I would use that if I were using a list. You can also use the. So as you can see, it's got a sh keyboard shortcut. So this would be Command Y. So boom, I'm done. <laughs> and then you can just add more and more. Uh, so you also get this little preview of the first whatever it can handle. So that's pretty much as much as as much as much if that makes sense uh, as much as this can hold I guess uh, so as you can see I got a bunch of thingamabobs here so yeah that's notational velocity moving on to the next app it's not it's not much of an app it's called copy uh, as you can see I can't really click on it but if we head over here into finder there's actually a folder here called copy so this is pretty much a Dropbox alternative but you get much more uh, space so on Dropbox let's I wonder if I even have it no I do not uh, but on Dropbox I think I only had about three or four gigabytes on copy I have 17 gigabytes uh, so it's kind of a cool thing they sometimes have like mini contests I guess where you can get even more storage uh, so they also have a website version so this I, I like to use this a lot at school instead of Dropbox uh, Dropbox kind of works the same, just I have more inform or <laughs> space storage on uh, copy. And it's it's pretty easy to get to the website if you just head over to copy.com. And then you log in and blah, blah, blah. And then you have the exact same thing as you got into your folder. Uh, so it's got the same, it's the same concept. You got these check marks here. But if I right click on, say this, as you can see, I have copy actions where you can view it on the website. So let's let's say I wanted to share this video. I actually wanted to share this a couple days ago. Uh, I can click on view on copy website. Uh, so if I wanted to share this, as you can see, there's a simple share button here. Uh, you can also download it, of course. You can preview the video right here. But if I want to share it with someone else, I want to click share. And they give me this link. From there, I can actually copy that. So copy. Uh, you can share it to Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, and by email right away. Uh, so with this, I can actually tweet it out or do anything with the link I want. So if we head over to that link, it's going to take us straight to the video in full preview. And that's live. <laughs> so, yeah, copy's pretty awesome. The next app I'm going to show you, and the last app I'm going to show you, is called Splash Top Streamer. So what this does, it allows you to share, I'm going to put a pop-up on the screen somewhere uh, showing you what this does, but it pretty much, it mirrors your computer screen onto your phone. It's kind of like, uh, 
what do you log me in it's kind of like log me in and there's a bunch of other apps that do the same thing but what this does it does it for free so that's pretty awesome uh, the only downfall is that you have to pay I think it's $1.99 for the cheapest plan if you want to say I was at my grandma's and I wanted to check up on an upload or something on my computer I can't do that I have to actually be on the same Wi-Fi network as what your computer that you're trying to connect to is on so Splashtop it's an awesome app I use it all the time for uploading to my gaming channel so yeah that's gonna be about it for this video if you enjoyed please click that thumbs up button down below leave a comment if you have any questions or app recommendations for the next what's in my talk video and subscribe for more videos such as this one. And I'm Chris the Apple One, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.